37-year-old Israel is from Mexico City. He has been at his wit's end ever since he was in a rugby accident over three years ago. He's lost over 40 pounds because he's not eating, can't swallow, has chest pain. Uh, funny thing is when you're coming from Mexico, make sure if you're international patients, don't tell them that you're coming for health reasons. Tell them you're coming to Disneyland because my patients can't get to California if you're telling them you need a visa for health care. Now you can see him squat here. He has knee pain, hip pain, back pain. Everything freaking hurts. Uh, he's leaning back, low back, showing his low back pain. Um, here he's going to show us his neck pain, tons of neck and shoulder pain. He is in pain. Can't breathe. Has TMJ. So we took some x-rays of him, showed him what was going on, and then we treated him. Wait till you see this adjustment. It hurt every freaking time. Ouch! Broke my life in every, in every, every case. And my job and my regular life with my family, with everything. It's yeah. was on the bed always. Yeah, I pass I pass around three months just uh, in the bed. No, I can wasn't for me uh, relax, not on feet, not on, uh, sitting down. I, I uh, was a rugby player and I felt after that I'm continue playing and with the medicine and uh, start worse and worse and worse. And, and so over the couple of years, he's also lost a ton of weight. Tell us how much weight you've lost, or 20 kilograms, right? More or less. 20, yeah, 20, so 40 pounds, guys. The mouth, uh, the I can swallow, I can open my mouth. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel the uh, pressure in my chest. Has difficult uh, breathing. Uh, but he couldn't open his breathing. mouth enough, and food lost his taste. Like, he doesn't yeah. really, food doesn't have the same kind of passion he has before, so he doesn't like to eat. His back has been, like, bent over for a long time. And so tell us what your back pain is, sir. The worst was when, when I was, when I can walk, uh, my knees start to to fail me, and I, uh, it was really difficult every day to to get to to go to my job. Pain in the jaw, sir. Yeah, when I open my mouth. Open your mouth, right? Um, can't swallow. We talked about that. Really in this side, the uh, middle. That's chest. The chest, chest pain. Yeah, yeah, chest, but in in this uh, circle. Gotcha. Yeah, and low pain. And low pain. Uh, neck and shoulders. Gotcha. Hips too. Uh, uh, advanced to the hips and. I visit a lot, a lot of the doctors. Uh, every doctor tell me I have something about his uh, speciality, and I don't believe that. And that's why I, I know my inside of me was more uh, physical than, uh, than. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they told him he was crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, he's visited one chiropractor, a couple visits, acupuncture, a couple visits. Probably did some massage in there too ton of medical doctors out there nobody's been able to help him and uh, he's done whatever it takes hocked his house whatever to come here to get mm. here and get better right pretty much yeah. abajo here you go oh, no. well, yes uh, six six, six. Seven. six or seven gotcha go back just be honest with this really uh, eight eight gotcha yeah. and you can see how he's struggling with that guys go ahead and look down the floor with your neck and this is all, look at this, look at this, how much space there is. I laugh when I did the exam when I go, is that it? <laughs> how much pain there, sir? Uh, two or three now. And look at this, can't even move, guys. Yeah, so how much pain there, sir? Uh, two or three, two. Okay, now squat to the ground, sir. Squat, squat. just do the best you can. How much pain in your back, your knees? Uh, uh, my knees, uh, my low back, and uh, hips. Uh, six. Six all the way around, sort of. Okay. Yeah. Try it one more time. You guys, look at look at the camera when you do it. Go ahead and go down. Just try the best you can. Okay. Just go the best you can. Look at the oh. camera. The best you can. And you can't. Yeah, it's can difficult. See, can yeah, exactly, because it's painful, right? Take a deep breath, sir. You can't. Show on camera. How tight is that? Tight? Difficult? Difficult in the end to, to continue. Uh, of course. Pain. Of yeah. course. So much muscle guarding. So I'm just going to let his head just kind of creep over here. You don't see I'm not even touching his neck yet. Because all I'm trying to do is get him a position because he is a fighter. I know, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm taking my time, guys, because he may look young, but his neck is tight. Let's go. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Wow. Oh. He is, oh my gosh, you hear that already? <laughs> Good. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Damn, those adjustments look like they hurt. So we're helping him up here. Uh, he's probably freaking out just a little bit inside his head. Uh, we are trying to calm him down, reminding him not to twist or turn or undo my work. Just settle down, settle down. It'll be all okay, Israel. Okay, so let's see how he's doing. Let's listen in. Uh, I can't wait to hear. I, I can explain it's just, uh, I think that kind of move, movement uh, need my, my neck. You need it, yeah. Okay, gonna send him down the hall to recalibrate. He was way off balance. Let's see how he's doing now. Yeah, I feel different. Uh, more, more balance. More balance? Yeah, to uh, fluid. Oh, cool, cool, uh, cool. And I don't know, my, my eyes and something, something happened. Feels brighter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, that was a six or seven a minute ago. No, I think five. Go ahead and stand up. Do you see how easy that fluid, that easy, you went whoosh, easy. Is it, okay. Yeah, you went nice and easy, but less, less pain? Uh, less, less. Go back like this, two, sir. Two points, but less. That was an eight. Uh, yeah, less, less, uh, less pain and uh, I don't know, more. I think I can go back more. You guys can see that, yeah. What's the pain number, sir? Uh, for this, I think three, three, four. Three or four? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay, okay, good. Now look at the ground, please. Better. Mm hmm Yeah, uh, I think two. Ceiling? Nice. Same two. Two, but better, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's take a deep breath. <sighs> less less uh, pressure. Didn't touch his chest, guys. Do it again. Take a deep breath, too. How's that feel? <sighs> nice, I, huh? I can, I can sustain, I can yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. prolongate the... Uh, I just whispered his ear like, oh, you're going to get better on camera. Mm -hmm. You're getting better, right? You're getting better. Okay, squat to the ground, sir. Don't, sir. don't pay me for that. Don't pay, don't pay me for that. <laughs> He's paying me, and I want you guys to know that. I don't give it away for free. People who come here still pay me. They do these videos out of the goodness of their heart for you guys. So um, don't think I'm paying them. I'm not giving any discount. I just about them doing it because they're doing it for you guys. Okay, so uh, go ahead and squat, please. Keep your eyes up. Try to keep your eyes up. Try to see the... Yeah, yeah, just try. Just try. Too much better. Really too much better. Yeah. Well, nice. How much pain is that? That was a six before. Uh, two or three. Okay. You guys saw him. He couldn't even look at the freaking camera before. He went all the way down, way more, and kept his eyeball on the freaking camera. <laughs> so what do you think, sir? Um, first, uh, I done, uh, my, my first uh, impression is it's uh, impossible only for the neck. Uh, I love the can, honesty. Can uh, fix everything. But it does feel better, right? Sure. Yes, it's going to get better, sir. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we're talking about pain medication right now. Um, he has pain medication and, he's had, and he has uh, sleep medication. So he took both last night, took the sleep, and then he took pain this morning. And so we talked about not doing it. Uh, first, uh, I feel uh, something fluid in, in my in my in my face uh, less less pain in the shoulders uh, more movement movement and um, I don't know uh, for the the second two hours I was uh, tired like uh, I, I need to rest and that's but not normal right uh, no that's not normal, that's not normal yeah uh, and feel better <laughs> yes, she don't believe with the, with one uh, with five seconds, move my neck, everything start to change. Yeah, and that's true. That's true, right? Crazy, right? All I'm doing is pre-stretching a little bit. Yeah, I feel, I feel pressure. Yep, I get it. Good. Good. Oh, okay. See, that's what we call the let. The leg of, I don't know what we call it. <laughs> Just the, the, resistant, the resistance of my body is not, uh, I'm not thinking it's just the body's. Uh, yeah, I get it. Subconscious. Yeah, conscious, yeah, yeah. subconscious. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, wow, wow. 
Okay, you guys aren't hearing a lot of noise either. Why? Because he's still fighting it. But again, the direction is right. The intent is right. Pushing the spine in the right direction is right. And he's feeling the, the improvement from that. These are x-rays he brought. I only want to put them up there. I want to have mine on there too. But he brought flexion distraction ones. So neutral extension. You can see the atlas pushed up against the um, head up here. Uh, flexion. <clears throat> you can see how his spine doesn't... There's a restriction right here. There's no arthritis in here, but we have tons of restriction right here. This should move a lot better. Um, his spine is not as bad as I thought it would be. The one big thing is his atlas is probably half worn off. You can see this on here. We'll discuss that more when we go over his x-rays. You are working better and feel more st uh, stable. Stable. Stable, yeah. yeah. And really better. Because you push this guy too fast. One, one hard adjustment. We'll freak him out. Good. Fuck. Yeah. You can feel the bone move a little bit inside his neck. Yeah, yeah I feel it. Yeah, because I can feel it shift a little now. Yeah. And don't think I'm using this hand, guys, to adjust. What I'm trying to do is just get in the right spot. I use this hand to adjust. This hand guides, guys. This one doesn't want to turn as much, so I'm gonna get behind it a little more. I walk a lot and and uh, and that night uh, I feel in my legs and uh, I can't sleep so well like As yesterday. Well. Yeah, like yesterday, gotcha. Yeah, I feel a little bit tired, but uh, nothing that's hurt me, but uh, I feel good. Oh. Wow, wow. He carries so much tension in these, sh in these shoulders that um, he has referral pain. These are points on here that are causing referral into his head. So you guys are going to see for the first time what happens here because I don't know what's going to happen. Normally... Oh, uh, shit. Uh, I went pretty good actually. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. A little different than down there? Uh, yeah. yeah a little move on to another, another part of the neck. Yeah. yeah. And this side's the real bugger because this side didn't want to move. You guys saw it a second ago. This is your touch of time. <laughs> Bring the ear over. Good. Bring the ear over. Oh, oh wow. nice. Wow, huh? Wow. Shit. I'm surprised too. <laughs> and adjustment, yeah. Um, I'm starting to be relaxed. And I've, we worked like able to like an uh, indication ape. And, uh, and people even making fun of him on the street. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I went to the hotel and I was resting and like a baby. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. And uh, his sister goes, oh my God, he woke up. Look at the smile on his face. He's smiling. So I'm going to go back and take a look at the x-rays right now. Heading back to the x-ray room to take a look at some x-rays. Let's see. So we're looking for balance. And so here, this center line is the center of mass in your body. Okay. So we want to see where your head is relative to that center of mass. Okay. Okay. So you can see your head is a little left of center, 5.52 millimeters, okay? That's the first leverage point I talk about. It's not the worst I've ever seen, so it's not, that's not awful, yeah. but that is off, okay? The other thing you have is a little TMJ problem. See this arrow points to a TMJ problem, so your jaw on the left side is out. And why is that important? Well, pressure in your jaw will reflect back into your neck. Because if you sleep and you grind your teeth and you and that will put pressure back on your neck, throwing your balance off more. So that is... Angry. Huh? I was angry. You're angry, yes, you're angry, exactly. You're not angry anymore. No, you're a totally different person. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have a uh, left lo lower shoulder, so essentially your whole body is leaning to the left, if you can see that, okay? Yeah. Uh, you have a 90 degree curve here. This is not as important as the balance. Because if it was important, guys, you guys are all going to, why don't you adjust the scoliosis? Again, no, it's no, a no. weakness, but it's not the cause. Low back, uh, right leg shorter, which is interesting because usually the short leg is on the same short shoulder side. So essentially your body's falling this way, but mm -hmm. your body is, is fighting it. And that fight tells me how much pain you're in. Because if we took re-x-rays on you, I guarantee that would flip the other side. Your body would start tilting the other way. And the reason is because gravity is going to pull you towards the short leg side generally. Okay? Yeah. But uh, this just tells me how bad you are. Now, other things that tell me how bad you are, See this little white, these little white tips right here on the tips of those, um, the ribs right here? Yes. That tells me you've had long standing back pain. Not just three years, probably even longer than that. Okay, because this only happens when you uh, don't move sufficiently and you kind of, you have less range of motion. So your body kind of hardens a little bit. Not the worst I've ever seen, but again, evidence, yeah. just evidence. Okay, um, this arrow points to constipation here. Not the worst I've ever seen, 
hardly any. But again, you can see a little evidence of long standing pressure here. Okay, here's a side view of your low back. Okay, so uh, curve looks pretty good down here, but right here and right here, your spine goes the opposite way. So you have a little hump in your back right here, and that's about right here in this area. Yes. You've carried a lot of stress there for a lot of years. Yes. Okay, and so what's happened is that you carry so much stress there, your body's like, your body's always hunched over, but you don't want to do that. So what you do is you do this, yeah. and you go against it. More pressure. More pressure, and because the, the, you're going against your body. So your body wants to do one thing and you're going against it because you think it's better for it. And that's the, that's the, the push and pull of our using our brain and our body. So we're, we're trying to stand up, but it just hurts because you're going opposite of what your body wants to do. Forward head posture, your neck should be shaped like this curve of this, of this yellow line right here, and it's not. This arrow points to where I focus my attention right here. That's where I adjusted the first couple days. Yes. Today, I adjusted this morning, I adjusted down here. Okay, and then just down here so I could get this to tilt up better, right? Okay. Uh, this up here, this arrow points to some pressure on the back of the head. You can see the bone is starting to kind of get a little bit bigger there. Yes. The biggest problem with you is this, is that this has been going on so long, you've actually worn out your atlas. Okay, that atlas should be round back here. Okay, yeah. and you can see how it's almost like a dome, like this. And that dome, I, I call it a crescent moon because it looks like a, a moon, the moon, right? And so why is it so bad? Well, because this bone right here, C2, is wearing that one out. And you have heard it your whole life. When you move your neck back and forth, you hear like sandpaper. Yeah. And that's these two bones going. And it's pretty bad. So that tells me how much pressure you've had on your brainstem for ever, forever, okay? Why is that important? The more pressure you put here, the more that bone goes like this and your brainstem fits right in here. So you're always irritating your brainstem like this. Every time you hear that your brain's going, it just doesn't like it. So you tend to just feel terrible all the time. Yes. And so my job is to create the proper motion here so that you can, you can live with all these idiosyncrasies of your body. So your body doesn't put pressure on the brainstem. So it just, like you said, relaxes. Exactly. Relax. Good. We're going to go back to room two to go over his x-rays and compare them against normal and to show him how arthritis works. Let's take a look. This is how your spine's supposed to look right here. Okay, so uh, she'll let you take pictures of your x-rays. You can put them on your phone. Take a picture of this later and you can see the comparison. Go back to your room and take a look at it. Okay? okay. So see the angle of your atlas right here? That's yes. how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yours is up here like this. Yeah. Okay? That's see how round this is? That's normal. Yours is all ground away. Now, good spine leads to, and bad spine, you see how it's ground away, but yours is much worse than this one. Yeah. Okay? So, bad spine leads to arthritis, worse arthritis, worse arthritis. You're right here. You're not terrible arthritis, but you're just starting. Again, if you didn't do this, it would just get worse and worse. Okay. Okay, relax. Is this Okay, hold on a second. Um, Drop that ear. Yeah. <clears throat> Good, 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 well, good, good, good. Uh, 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 mm. Come this way. Now bring your ear down. Oh, good. shit. Sorry for the shit. <laughs> Generally, I feel better. I sleep better. And I think I can move uh, just a little bit more. And uh, everything's... Everything's getting better. Yeah. And tell them about walking to the beach. How uh, far? Walk all the way to the beach. Yes, I uh, walk uh, to the beach for around uh, eight kilometers, more or less. Yep. Uh, and you walk back too, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm trying to distract him. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> this is him liking my treatment, by the way. You doing good? Oh yeah. Good. Oh. Well. Okay. Good. Oh, yeah, really good. <laughs> <laughs> See, when there's so much pain, they start laughing. Good. So I'm trying to get his neck to relax a little more. So, um, anyway, that's what we're doing right now. Thanks for watching, guys. So my contact is yeah. down here, right? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Oof. Yep, he can feel that I'm, I'm building up a lot of tension there. Building up a lot of tension. <sighs> no rush, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to adjust it yet. Just stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel it. I feel it really. Yeah, it's just, yeah. But as you can see, you don't like it. Don't like it. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> We've built up a certain semblance of trust. <laughs> and then, oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> I'm a piece of meat. He's a piece of meat. <laughs> uh, okay, ready to try it again? Okay. Yeah. I feel a little more relaxed. Good. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you think? You hope? You hope, exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. Here, so I feel a little more uh, scared down here. Yeah, yeah, probably because in the morning they hurt me a, a little more. Yeah, and I'm sweating like a pork. Yeah, like a pork, like porky. Yeah, like a pig. <laughs> I was like, what is pork? Oh, like a pig. Like a and working on this peck minor, guys. Not as peck major, peck minor. See his face. I'm not even starting yet. I haven't even started. Oh, but it hurt. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, just starting up. Yeah. Okay. And so why am I working this? Well, this has a lot to do with how the shoulder is oriented. And so the shoulder is protracted and retracted from this muscle. Okay. And the way he holds his shoulder, I immediately thought pec major, pec minor. So, um, and you can feel this, right? A lot. Is it going down your hand at all? Is it starting to make your arm go numb? No. Okay. Just the shoulder. Just the shoulder? Yeah. Uh, if you do this deep enough, which I'm not really doing very deep right now, um, it actually starts making the whole arm go numb. That's when I feel like it's really beneficial. But I'm kind of getting them started on this one. I start to tend to the bone. You need that in your elbow? Your yeah, elbow? Yeah. Elbow, yeah. 